Okay, we are getting some to-dos done, but just wanted to show you guys the steps um, going up to the bee shed. And uh, beautiful, beautiful day. And this is part of the road that is going down and uh, goes all the way down to the coop and all the way down to the back of the house. Roller coaster. These guys are just hanging out on the deck, but look at that Cayuga duck. Oh my goodness. If I can get it in the right lighting, it is like purple. It's got the green head, but it is just a beautiful, beautiful purple all over its body. The view they have, you guys. I'm jealous. It's, <laughs> it's just gorgeous out here. These guys are just hanging out. We gotta redo their dust bath. So our goal is we got the deck cleaned. This is usually what they look like when we clean them. Um, got the deck cleaned and hosed off and hoping to get this duck house built. It is like three o'clock in the afternoon. Um, but we'll see what we can get done. We got some materials here that we brought up. Um, just miscellaneous things to get their duck house built. Um, my husband is actually using, we use this, we use this in our chicken coop too. It's a, uh, waterproof laminate wood flooring and it's just, it's washable. It's really cleanable. So we are going to use that in the duck house. And then we have our flashing and some other miscellaneous things. We also got some coated screws and then I think this is the window and that's our garbage bag don't mind um I think this is the window we're gonna put in and he's got like some vents for ventilation in the duck house but that way we have a window so when the weather's nice we can air it out more and when it's cold there'll still be some sun coming in to help warm it up in the winter and then Faith my oldest these are her silkies she's got her little silkies we had a couple roosters and a bunch of hens and as you can see on her shirt, just the girl who loves silkies. And then in here, we got Laverne and Shirley. I know I have to, I can't name any more things after naming eight kids and dogs and cats. I'm like, I need, I need to think of names that I'll remember easily. So I got Laverne and Shirley there in the back and they're doing awesome. And their structure is next along with fencing. <laughs> What are we doing now? We are building a wall. The first wall for their house. The window wall. The window wall. All right, so this is how far we got, and it is five o'clock, and because of our location of what we live in, it gets dark way sooner here. So five o'clock, we're gonna have to call this good for today. And what is this? This is the back wall with our window for ventilation. Yep, so this will be the shorter wall, right? Yep, the other one will be raked up. Yep, so this is the shorter wall, and um, yeah. That's how far we got today. So, anyway, the bees have found a water source. Not good if you're trying to hook up a hose. 
Okay guys, um, since I'm trying to get some more footage in, we were expecting to get a little bit further today with things, but um, with how dark it's already getting, it gets dark like two hours sooner where we live than it does everywhere else around us because we're kind of like in a little valley. But anyway, I wanted to get some extra footage up and we didn't get as far as we thought we would. We usually don't like doing stuff like this on Sundays. Usually our project day is like on Saturdays for working outside. But my husband was actually able to pull the tools off his job to yesterday and today, um, which is why we're working outside today. And then tomorrow they're gonna go back on his job. He's doing concrete and other things. So tried to do what we could. We at least got the wall built for one side with the window in it ready to go. Um, hopefully during the week, maybe one night he can come home a little early and um, we can finish it. If not, it'll be Saturday and I'll take you guys along. We'll have a full day. We didn't have a full day today. Um, we just had a lot going on this morning. So I am going to share with you guys a quick recipe for when it's like dinner time and uh, you need dinner. So this is something we absolutely love. Oh, I didn't butterfly that one. Oh, well. Um, this is something we like, my husband does especially, and my kids. It's like, you might as well just call it chicken stroganoff. Um, it's just chicken in a really creamy sauce. I usually do this in the slow cooker, and if I was thinking today, I would have had it in the slow cooker while I was outside. But I wasn't thinking, guys. I was not using my brain. So I'm like, you know what? We could probably do this in the Instant Pot. My fear is just... Um, it kind of overcooking the chicken because I am cutting the chicken up smaller um, and it's thawed, so we'll see. But anyway, what you usually do, I always double everything, but you just take, I take about four chicken breasts and these are each, in each side, two chicken breasts there. This is the Georgia's um, Farmer's Market from Sam's Club. That's that's what I have right now. So um, usually I take, oops, usually I take four chicken breasts and butterfly them and cube it. And I might do a little more tonight. I don't know. I usually have some salad or something to go with it. I might do vegetables with this. Um, but I serve it over rice. You could serve it over pasta. Everybody loves it. Um, it's really yummy. So I... I'm going to get this chopped up and then I'll bring you back. Okay, I actually added in two more chicken breasts just because our family is starting to eat a lot more with the kids growing. So I put for me personally six chicken breasts total. I'll put it in the description below where it makes sense for you guys, but I put six chicken breasts total chopped up and cubed. Like I said, this is a slow cooker meal. I always do it in the slow cooker. And I mean, I do it on low, um, I don't know, usually like the five to six hours um, and check it obviously for doneness. So my goal right now is to not overcook this. So I'm gonna put six tablespoons of butter in here. And then because I am tripling this, um, it's going to be a lot more than I normally would put in, obviously, but I have some um, organic cream of chicken. You can use Campbell's cream of chicken, whatever cream of chicken you have on hand. Um, I don't even know what, just, let's see. The, yeah, 10 and a half ounces. So I think they're all 10 and a half ounces. That's what I'm gonna add in right now are the three cans of cream of chicken. And my dogs are, <laughs> they're all coming toward me. They're like, what is that? It smells good, huh? Okay, so I got my three cans of cream of chicken. Hey, buddy, go get dressed. Um, my boys are getting done bathing. And then I use three packets, because I'm tripling it, of the Italian, it's just Good Seasons Italian dressing. They're 0 0.7 ounce packets. Now, I do want to say, usually, if this is in the slow cooker, all right, sorry about that. Um, I'm just gonna dump these in. When I'm doing this in the slow cooker, I usually do not add, and I'll put it in the directions down below, I usually do not add the cream of chicken in. I add that in during the last 30 minutes with the cream cheese, but because this is going in an instant pot and it's not going in for an additional 30 minutes, I want to cook. This is my first time doing this in the instant pot. I've always had my stuff together and I've always done it 
in a slow cooker. So I'm hoping this turns out because it's in my video footage now. And I'm like, hmm, that'd be really silly if it didn't work. But we're gonna do our best here. And I'm going to find my little stopper. I'm going to go ahead and put this on and for the time, Okay, I don't want to overcook my chicken, but I also don't want to undercook it. And I know chicken generally is like 10 minutes and then 10 minutes of a natural release. But because I chopped mine up, you know what? I can always add more time if I absolutely have to. I'm going to do, not, this might be too much too, I don't know. I'm going to do nine minutes cook time with a 10 minute natural release and I'll do a temperature check. Something tells me I'm probably going to be in like the 190 degree range with with my look so we'll see how this goes um set my timer for nine minutes on here i'm gonna let it build pressure and i will bring you guys back um let's see how this goes okay it is getting it's already like dusk over here um i got dinner in the instant pot so we're gonna run up to the coop and see what's going on up there. I think we're getting chickens in and doing our final count to make sure all the stragglers are put away. All right, this wall is stained and it's got hinges on it because we have a plan to be able to lift the roof, to be able to clean it out. Okay, so this is going off. Um, it has been a 10 minute natural release. I'm gonna press cancel and vent that. And I'm going to get a thermometer. I'm going to get this lifted up and hopefully it's done. Like I said, I have not done this before in an instant pot. Oh yeah, what did I say, 190? Yeah, yeah, it's a little overdone. Well, I should have known. So I will definitely change that next time. But more than likely there won't be a next time because next time I'm going to remember to do it in the slow cooker. But at least it is cooked, it's ready to go, and it's definitely hot enough where it's going to melt the next ingredient, which is the last ingredient, which is cream cheese. So once again, I am tripling this for our size family because, like I said, the kids are really starting to eat a lot. And I want to make sure everyone goes to bed with a full tummy. So, um, usually you would add in one brick of cream cheese, but I'm actually going to be adding in three. And I thought I ran out of cream cheese, but, um, yeah, I did my Azure order. I never did a haul on it because I had gotten really sick, but as usual, I got the cream cheese from them, and I have one Philadelphia cream cheese to use up. <coughs> so I am going to add in the cream cheese. I'm going to add in the second one and then the third one. So really creamy, but this is really filling also. My, and my husband loves it. The flavors are really yummy together. And my husband just loves this like after he's done snow plowing to come home with this. I don't know why. And it's so simple. It's convenient if you remember to put it in the slow cooker. That always helps. But I have some rice going. We'll do a vegetable. And I'm going to go check on them outside. I think they got the animals in for the night. I'm not quite sure. Um, and then I gotta make some sandwich bread for tomorrow um, because I think we're out. And uh, I'll bring you back. And honestly, just to put this in here real quick, um, this is this is so rich and creamy. It's really delicious. But if you didn't want so much creaminess, you could totally get away with tripling this and just adding two bricks of cream cheese. Um, but it makes a really creamy sauce or gravy to put over your pasta or rice. All right. Do we have the chickens put away, Faith? What are you doing? Making the sidewall. Making the sidewall. So this is going to be the side that's vented. Okay, making progress. Got a little bit of daylight left. Not much. Nope. All right, so we're gonna get this stained. This one's drying right now. And then Caleb is actually going to stain this one. Aren't you, buddy? 
All right, Caleb, show us what to do. Want to help him build the frame? All right, get the glove at the top. Remember, up and down. All right, Mr. Jacob, what are you helping Daddy with? The frames. The frames? Yeah. All right, what are we doing for this part? Same as that one, only reverse order. Oh, is that the roof slant? No, this, yeah, the roof angle's reversed. Yep. It angles the opposite way. Watch yourself. I'm gonna cut this. Okay, there's our bottom plate. See? Set that aside. Now we gotta measure our top. What are you going to do when you're older, Jacob? Um, build. What are you going to build? I don't know. <laughs> what do you want to build when you're older? Mm, like a farm and a, a farm. duck house and a chicken house. Farm and a duck and house. A goat house. Are, are you still going to have sheep when you're older? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> They're noisy tonight, huh? They're like, build my house. Alright. Faith, what are you filling up the water? Getting all the water scrubbed out and cleaned. <laughs> you got it, buddy? Okay. Good job. What are you trying to finish? What is this again? The other side wall. Okay. Making progress. Did she? And giving the goat some love. Laverne and Shirley. <laughs> What? Don't shake your head. I like that show growing up. My dog ate. Your dog what? German Shepherd as a kid ate my two hamsters. They were Laverne and Shirley. <laughs> Excuse me. I still have a cough. That's funny. That's not funny. That's sad. But that I named the goats Laverne and Shirley. I didn't know. You had a tragedy right there. <laughs> All right, step back, watch the dust. Getting hard to see lines. Yeah, it's getting a little dark, just a little bit. How you doing over here, Caleb? Yeah. It's getting dark. Can you see good? It's so rocky. I can't even hold this level. This camera. Tap it in. Yep. With the excess off. Okay. Good job, buddy. Uh, that's an older piece of wood. So it's drier, but this one still needs a second coat. So in the end, they will, believe it or not, match. Yeah, this is an older piece of wood. This other one's brand new. Yeah. 
I actually, I like this color on the left better, Mike. What? I said I like the color on the left a lot like right better. Coat. Yeah, yeah, so it will look like this one when it gets a second coat somehow. Laverne's getting brushed before bed. It's so yeah, cute. We're surely in the little house. Hiding. She refuses. She's hiding. Can't wait to get on their structure. Mm -hmm. Ooh, they got walks today. Yep. They're nice and safe in their house. Yep. Jacob's got help for getting me in the wood. Good job, Jacob. You open out. Found it. Good job, buddy. You got your gloves? Why don't you have your work gloves on? You don't need them on, huh? <laughs> my hands are cold. Your hands are cold? What? His hands are cold. You put them on, then they, I know it's chilly out here. The sun goes down here and forget it. I think it's been like, what, low 40s at night? Wait, what is for dinner? I got ch creamy chicken stroganoff with rice and some green beans. What do you think of that? Yummy. Yummy. I'm keeping it warm for you guys. Not the fresh ones. We're doing canned tonight. You want to do fresh? We'll saute some up sometime soon. Okay. Okay. So we'll just have one more wall left, right? In the nesting yeah, boxes. One more in the yeah, in the nesting boxes. We have a we have a plan. It was even think of thinking of putting a hole into the deck to sweep, to sweep the shavings out into. Yeah. Um, for when cleaning out the duck coop, it'll lift the roof will lift up from the hinge, and um, we'll be able to clean the duck house out that way. But if we put a hole in the deck we can sweep it all out and just rake it up or shovel it out from under the deck. So, working with what we got. Alright, they're still working outside. Caleb and Jacob naturally want to stay outside and work with Mike. So, um, that's what they're doing. Oh, it is really bright. My lighting, let me dim it down, it is super bright. This actually looks like it's way later than it is but that is dinner i'm just making little plates i always give them more if they're so hungry but some nights they're picky and they don't want to eat as much so we need to make sure we have enough for everybody which i've tripled it so we definitely should but this is dinner it's quick if you have this in the slow cooker all day um grace brooke somebody grace can you put the cream cheese in the fridge Anyway, if you put this in the slow cooker and you remember to, it cooks itself all day. It's a beautiful thing. All right, I got my plate. A little bit. I'm not really hungry. <laughs> I've been going and going all day. So I'm going to eat my dinner. And then I am going to make Mike some coffee because it is cold. And they're still working outside. But this is tonight's dinner, you guys. Give it a try. I'll see you guys on the next video. Until then, take care and God bless.